the parish church of Lawrence, Westbury Sub Mendip. I've already videoed inside. I've had a brief walk around. There's lots of uh, surnames called Hole. And there's a few shepherds. There's um, a something forest. Very old yew tree. Which is even being propped up. A very sturdy pole there. The tree's actually grown into it by the look of it. It's having some work done on it. Which is always a good thing, isn't it? That's a lovely window from inside as well. That stained glass there. Yes, yeah, Sprat's names. I always look, check the graves out because um, you never know what's going to turn up, you know what I mean? I had a stipe turn up, up in Preston that time. Yes, yeah, so I should find out. I've got a little leaflet in my pocket. I should find out the details of the tree when I put my glasses on later. Details of the church, I mean. Old um, upright table monument to somebody. Hardwich, that's right, that's another name. And Glanville, Forest Glanville. Um, he was 65 when he died in 1980. There's lots of Glanvilles. William Forrest Glanville. He died 68 in 1931. Um, lots of others. Quite a little Phelps is another name. There's the church again. Up there, he probably would have had a statue in the past. Makes me think it's Norman, Normanish. This little church. It's having it's got someone who comes and repairs and stuff. Another Glanville there, Justice of the Peace. Forest Glanville, another one. He died in um, 1862, age 66. And there's a Stott, Griffin. Um, Phelps, Stott, Griffin, Glanville. It's actually very, very picturesque here, by the way, as well. I don't even know where I'm going in a minute. I'm exploring today. Don't know if it's a good thing or not. I've come out as early as I can. But there has been a lot of traffic. Got the bus here and I'm walking over to Ever Gorge and then back via Pretty. I might only get back as far as um, Draycott at the moment, so it depends on the time. Here we've got some, a little shepherd family here. It's a Charles Shepherd. He died in 1895, age 48. A William Charles. He died in 1899, age 27. So there's a little shepherd, all this here, there's a little shepherd family here. Um, not saying they're related to Harry, but... Um, and here's a nice little poem on this grave. The dawn of the, m of the morn for glory, the hush of the night for peace. In the garden at eve, says the story, God walks and his smile brings release. That's quite sweet. Can't see who's in there. Probably could if you worked on the sides. I like to be able to do... I haven't done a church for a while, but I do like to do them, but... If you look up there, I reckon I've got to get up there somewhere. I've got no idea. It's going to be a bit of a... I said I'd spend an at least an hour here. Um, yeah, Hole is another one. I knew a John Hole once. He was a psychiatric nurse that I worked with at uh, the villa. He'd been um, an employee of the West of the Mendip 
mental hospital in the past as well. But when that closed, they opened up these sort of um, other small residential places for, for people with health problems, mental health problems. Yeah, set in a nice scene. I can hear children. Like I said, I don't really know where I'm going in a minute. I didn't... I knew there would be hills. I don't know exactly if I've got to climb them. There's something called Deer Leap Lane that I've got to get to in the end. But anyway, that's what I'm doing later. This At the moment, we're in this lovely... Lovely churchyard, and um, in a little Somerset village of Westbury Sub Mendip, and um, Here are the children. I've got a little map, I'll get it out in a minute. There's a nice little urn on there, look. The flowers, it's made of metal. The Collins family. Quite a big rectangular monument to them there. It's always handy to do these graveyards, you know, because um, family tree researchers will be looking for graves. And um, they do deteriorate. They do deteriorate. George Marston died in 1879, age 53. Right then. Nice to have come to see the church. It's been repaired. Over and out, everyone.